speed, we just need that injection of youth for the speed to counter their speed. Jamie! 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 believe it it's been a full damn well year one full damn well year since we've been in this morning game and we're back and it's my team too which i'm absolutely loving however it's going to be a difficult damn well game today guys we're here for sydney fc versus brisbane raw now these two teams have been pretty good this season however as a raw fan our last couple of weeks hasn't been that great this is the a league though guys like, it doesn't matter we honestly can see anything happen in this damn well league look last night for example everyone was back in the mariners i told you guys adelaide united on the streams but adelaide came through three two in the end and no one believed it but they did and that's just what can happen in this damn well league baby so although the brisbane raw have been struggling you never damn well count them out sydney fc though the home team they're the back-to-back -back champions obviously and they're still pretty much my favorites for the league this year everyone's got their troubles sydney FC definitely have their troubles, they haven't looked great recently. In the same sense, they won their most recent games and you know, they're doing fine and if they win all their games in hand, they're top of the league. Now guys, the last time the Prism Raw played was obviously last weekend and they drew nil nil with the Jets. They were the better team but they still didn't win in the end and the attack was a little bit damn well debatable. It's actually a little bit windy right now so do forgive the wind because I can't really do anything about mother damn well nature but the game before that as well, we played MacArthur, lost 2-0 and before that we had some great games. We haven't really played anyone just yet. We haven't really played anyone just yet. We finally played, I guess, some Carpet, who are currently losing 3-0 right now, by the way, to West United. It tells you everything you need to know, because everyone would have backed to MacArthur for that game. Now is going to be the time when we see if the Brisbane Raw do have what it takes to compete with the big boys. This was the game that I was looking at all season to see if Brisbane Raw had what it takes to actually compete with teams that can genuinely contend for the title. Might have to turn this around this way, because the wind is just full on from that side. But, look, you know, CFC, they come off that win against Wellington Phoenix 2-1. They had a game postponed over the weekend due to the, obviously, pandemic, and that's just how it is. They haven't actually played in about two weeks' time now. Just when they played the Wellington Phoenix, they won 2-1. Realistically, they won 2-0. There was a last-minute goal there from Alyssa Sevilla that kind of made it interesting, but in the same sense, Sydney FC with a better team. Nothing exciting, but a better team. Before that, they beat MacArthur, but I don't really kind of claim that as too much of a big win way wise There was a red card involved and wet night. It was shit house. It was just absolute shit house, and there was like a prolonged 45-minute halftime or some shit. So, you know, as much as they won that game 3-0, <laughs> MacArthur weren't that bad even in the first half with the damn well red card but you know what they still got the win and that's the point even if you don't play fantastic even if you don't play great if you're the best team if you're one of the contending teams you'll always get a damn well result and that's what Sydney FC know how to do just finally but enough talking up here guys oh damn well keen baby I'm so damn well excited for my first game back in a whole damn well year and for it to be the Brisbane damn well raw boys I wish I was up there at Redcliffe this year but obviously so far I haven't been able to get there but now I get to support the boys and I get to get loud down here in Sydney. I hope we can have a damn well good game. I hope we can bounce back in some form and I hope we can prove ourselves to be contenders like I know we damn well can be this year. Yeah, but you know what's coming next guys. Leave your passion. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. I may have been held back for a year. I still found a way to do what I love doing. To still live my passion. And I need you guys to do it damn well too. You can do it. Put your mind to it. And I tell you what, you will absolutely love it. But let's get down to the game. Let's have a good time. Come on you raw boys. So we're here before the game against Sydney FC and we're here with um, Connor, mate. What do you think about this one, man? It's a tough one. Um, best chance to get a result in Sydney for probably two or three years. Uh, we had a game here, I think it was 0-0 or 1-1, that we probably should have won. And Marty Holloway missed a header 
late on. Um, so I really think we're a good chance. Um, obviously Sydney coming to a favourite, but Brisbane showed that we can pick up a result almost anywhere in the country this season. The thing is, man, like obviously we got up to a rocket start, but that was obviously, you know, when we were playing pretty scrubby teams, to be completely honest with you. Then we come up against two teams recently and the attack wasn't firing. Do you think we can fire today? That's probably been our biggest issue. Um, it's just that sort of transition from midfield into attack. Um, Uh, if we can get, get a couple of, oh, score a couple of chances today, I think we're a chance of a result. Our defence is probably one of the best in the league, yeah. um, and, and we know, of course, we've got the best goalkeeper in the league as well. So uh, I think we're a good chance, good chance to get a result today. Hey! There we go. Uh, come on. You're joking. How is that on a free kick? Man, she's so pedestrian. So pedestrian right now. So slow. Not even Sydney doing anything really. Both teams are real struggling to do anything right now. It's just bland. Real bland. I guess Sydney have looked a little bit more energetic, but in the same sense, Brisbane just playing so damn well pedestrian, son. Watch the wing. Watch the wing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh my god, jeez, this corner. Sydney FC corner, but shit. No, that's a good whip in. Shit, shit. Oh, the top. Yeah, no, nah, easy what? days. Let, oh, what do you, no, guys, no, bro. Oh, no, bro, no. So slow. Oh, stop sitting back and chilling out. Holy shit. You're not going to beat Sydney being this slow, lads. No way. No way. I just really hope Champness gets a bit more minutes today, you know? Champness. He just said they haven't been giving him nothing. And that ball was absolutely horrific. You know, every, he comes on for like five minutes and does pretty decently, even though the game was over against MacArthur. And they, I know, you can't do anything. You have to give 30 minutes, man. I don't even like anyone coming in after the 70th minute. Oh, that's a good shout. Ah, good block. Yes, miss. Oh my God, that was inches. That was inches. Jeez, it's a corner, but... They're loving that right wing tonight, Sydney FC. They're loving that right wing tonight so far. Shit! Save Jamie! 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 Brisbane! Come on, lads. Brisbane! 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 First point of the game for the Brisbane boys. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, too much, bro. Still on on the edge, though. Still on on the edge. Do something with it. Oh, have a crack, have a crack, have a crack, have a crack. Someone have a crack. Oh, oh, oh. oh save another corner. Another corner. We're coming, though. Don't slow it down. Don't slow it down. Don't slow it down. Don't slow it down. Have a crack. Have a crack. Someone do something. Anyone? Anyone? No one? Someone? Maybe one? No. Well done. Okay, we've got it back. Here we go, come on in, have a crack. Okay, no one's having a crack still. We might, oh, 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 oh my goodness me, that was a chance, that was an opportunity. Hey, how about else? how about that one? Yeah, that's the same tackle, you have to give a yellow for that. It's the exact same tackle. That's the exact same tackle. No, no, no. Uh, please call time. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go, half time. All right, I'll take it. If you never said please call time, we would have scored. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, with that, how many shots have we had? How many shots have we had? <laughs> so you want to funny? Have a look at this, right? So the sprinklers are on here, yeah, but the sprinklers aren't on down the other side, right? So where Sydney FC have to score next half, there's no, it's not going to be wet field or anything like that. But where Brisbane Raw have to score, right? That's where the wet field's going to be, lads. So it's going to make it after. Oh, that might be what I like now. Oh, hey, red man, you still dog. Oh no, Sydney got this. Oh no. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Yes, Jamie. Jamie. Dude, he has been quiet. denzaki has been pretty quiet. But like compared to what he's done this season so far, like I think he's been our best so far this season. Hey, hey. Come on then. Here we go. Oh my 
god, couldn't even right. see it, man. I couldn't even see that shit, man. It's a corner. We're gonna be on the back foot unless we make subs now. Ah! No! Yes, on the post! Oh! oh my god, off the post. Get it out of there, get it out of there. Oh, she's gonna rocket that. That's a free kick to us. Yes, come on, we needed that. Oh my god, we needed that. We're on the back foot right now and we needed that desperately. Let's go, go! twice in the last like five minutes. Ah! Yes, he's missed it! Oh no! Yes! Yes! We're hanging by a thread, lads. We're hanging by an absolute thread. Oh, 100%, why have we only made one sub still? They've changed basically their whole team. Their whole team! Look at them, they're on the pace mate. They've changed their whole team by three. Still a, nearly an absolute bloody rocket top right. Oh, yes, the kill you yeah. oh, oh, oh. Brisbane! Brisbane! Put it in, put it in, put it in, have a crack, have a crack! Have a crack! Oh! Oh! oh. Saved by Red Main but we're coming, we're knocking though, we're knocking. I don't necessarily mind the draw here. We are away, we are playing the team who's won two years in a row, and we are in bad form. But we have a chance here! Oh! Ah! Bad touch. Maybe still out, maybe still out. Bad touch. No, that's it. He's gonna get away. It's a free kick. That's a free kick. That's not a yellow. That's not a yellow. That's a free kick. Oh, that was a free kick, not a yellow bit. Look, Jesse. Eight minutes to go. I'll, I'll take, I'll take it. It's, it's, it's better than loss, and we are playing a good team. Oh, shit, man! And there we go, lads. There we go. So, I'll take it. I'll, um, I'll take it. It's a great issue, but... They were technically top of the table if they won the games. I guess the Mariners are probably the happiest of that, to be honest with you. Um, here after the game with Richard Raw, mate, uh, to, it, it was a tough one, but we got a result. Yeah, look, um, they grounded out. Uh, Sydney definitely had their chances, a few off the post. Uh, I think a draw here in Sydney is always count for me as a win. Yeah. Uh, we'll take the one point, I think we're back up in the second now. Mm -hmm. uh, but tonight, I think I think if we made a few changes maybe early, it could have been a different, because when Gigi came on... He was um, good, yeah. Who else? Uh, Jesse Daly, Joey Chantners. We changed because they changed up three. And then obviously we changed up three a bit later, so a bit earlier, Warren, we probably would have snatched it. Do you think we forced those, like I know we need those changes, but do you think we made them because of Sydney, or do you think that we kind of were going to do that regardless? I, I think some of our guys maybe were fading towards the end. Obviously McDonald, I think uh, Tom Aldred looked yeah. a bit suspect. Maybe we just needed that injection of youth, bit of speed, to counter their speed, because they changed three up straight away, and they were on us like, yeah. What do you think for the rest of the season? Like, obviously, you know, uh, we're second place now, but in the same yeah. sense, you know, there's games in hand everywhere for everyone. Yes, yeah. Uh, do you think we have what it takes to actually compete this year? I think if we can do that in a couple of weeks when they come up yeah. and actually come away with a win, I think we need to start playing the Sydneys yeah. and the Western United. Because we've played a few scrubby teams. Yeah, <laughs> we need to, yeah, exactly. And look, we're, we're positioned really well, yeah. but it's time to play the big guys and uh, let's grow up that ladder again. Uh, Sydney FC there, mate. Uh, what are you thinking? Story of missed opportunities. Yeah. We had, I honestly reckon we had about four or five opportunities that come off the post or just unlucky ricochets. Yeah. Any other night they'll go in. 100%. But the thing is, look, we, yeah, it was, look, it was unlucky for you guys. I think it was really back and forth. I think that the majority of the game was probably Sydney FC's favour, yeah. but in the same sense, we still had a couple yeah. of opportunities. It's been the story of the season so far for the whole league. Yes. Yeah. I think starting later, it's, you can definitely see the benefits to the team. Yeah. Like even having, like I know it's been more of a wetter summer yeah. than we've had in the past. And those cooler conditions, you can see in the games, it's definitely improving the ball. Yeah, we'll take it. They're yeah. 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 champions of Australia for good reason. Yeah. And uh, they have a good team and we, uh, we have to perform well. Well, look, uh, like it's an away result too. We've kind of got not many games, but we've got one game in hand now, I think. So we're still kind of pushing up there in the top of the ladder, though. 
Yeah. Now, performances uh, at the moment is key in terms of how we're going to build the rest of the season. Uh, this is a step in the right direction to get the results. Hey, Jeff, are you going to play better? Uh, we'll get there. 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 Well, the thing is, no one really graded us before the season too. Like, surely the boys must have really utilised that as a motivation to say, you know what, we're actually good players and we can get it done. Look, and that's a message from me. Believe, believe this boy is good enough to go and do something. Believe that uh, we can play good attractive football. Um, it doesn't always work, and uh, conditions also play a part. But I thought tonight, at times, we were really good with the ball. For longer periods would have been nicer and we would have pressure on them, but it wasn't uh, Yeah, unfortunately, didn't get the win, but um, I think we had enough chances to, to win it, but actually didn't get happy in the end, so. You've got a heap of games in hand, though, surely that you're going to use that as a bit of motivation to say, you know what, let's buddy you up with these next few games and just get some results going. Yeah, exactly, I think we're going every three or four days uh, coming up, so it's a quick turnaround, which is good, you can always get on with things, so uh, hopefully we. Turn around come Tuesday and you know we'll get it wrong. Do you feel like this year is a bit more of a competitive year overall? Yeah, I think, I think even us, so the other results now, I think every team can beat everyone. So yeah, exactly. It's hard to pick, uh, A-League's always hard to pick at any stage, but this year's even more difficult, so I think it's only really good for the competition. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Look, it was a nil-nil. Uh, I'll take it as a real fan. I'll take the result away from home. And, you know, we just drew to Newcastle and then uh, at home and then get a draw away at Sydney. So, look, as much as it's the exact same scoreline, it is also still a relatively decent result for us. So, we will take it. The main thing is, though, is that we're back, baby. And I'm so excited to get to some more games. We don't have any more vlogs this weekend, but next weekend we're going to be smashing it out again. We will be streaming both the A-League games tonight for you guys, tomorrow for me. Uh, we're going to be streaming both those games. So obviously, tune in for that one. Appreciate you guys as always. If you have enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here, go hit that red button and the little ding-a-ling-a-ling -ling notification bell so you get a notification every single time we upload. We're uploading, buddy, smashing it lately. And also, every Wednesday, the A-League Power Rankings do come out, so this Wednesday, we'll see the adjustments. And main thing, guys, and you know it, live your passion. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Appreciate you, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.